What is up guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today my guys are Brady Trading Method on the channel and this one right here is absolutely awesome. It would be absolutely crazy as well if you guys could leave a like in the video. Let's try to aim for 400 likes on this one. And also, tonight I'll try to post another episode of Trading to 100k if I have the time. I will do that tonight. Anyway, this trading method right here is awesome. What you guys want to go ahead and do is go ahead and have a look at the lowest buy now of a player with a Hunter card. Now, I don't really need to put in the quality either. Just go to Cameras to start on Hunter because of course Hunter is the most expensive Cameras to sell you can possibly get. That's why I want to go Hunter. And Pretty much going to find the lowest buy now of a hunter card on the market. Right now, you guys can see it's between, yeah, it's around 1.5k. But I'd recommend going around 1.9k if you guys want to look for some awesome deals. But at the same time, you guys can just keep on refreshing the market. Uh, maybe like for 1,300 coins right here. And also go to quality gold. And you guys can also go ahead and try to refresh for a few players that maybe pop, you know, maybe that pops up for like 800 coins with a hunter card. You can, of course, go and do that. But, uh, you know, that's the first method I guess you can do this uh, do this one right here. Go ahead and just keep on refreshing like this. Uh, with, of course, the hunter card right there. And if something pops up for 800 coins, go ahead and pick it up and, of course, sell it on for a lot more profits. Now, of course, it's another method of doing this as well. And this is the one that I actually do need to prefer. Go to 1,900 coins and go through the market and see if you guys can find a good deal on a hunter card in the 5th and a minute. As you guys can see, there are new players popping up every single minute right here. Almost there's, like, you know, new players popping up in hunter card. Sometimes you're going to be finding yourself some absolutely crazy deals. And then I'd recommend going to quality any because literally then, of course, you can try to find form. You can try to find some insane silver players, something like that. For example, this card doesn't look too bad. You know, 79 pace, Bundesliga, German, Hunter card as well for only 1.5k. Maybe we go and pick him up and try to sell him on for like 2.5k. If, for example, this... Uh, oh my god, that is actually Russell there for the as well. Go ahead and remove the... Uh, or just make sure you have like a healing card uh, to this card right here. Just go ahead and, uh, you know, get a healing card onto him. Probably go and try, try to sell him on for around 2.9 thousand coins. Just keep going like this and you're going to be finding so many awesome deals on the market. I'd recommend picking up a player that's either a striker or just like an attacker. I would not recommend picking up center backs because they never do indeed sell with a hunter card on. That's pretty much the method right there. Of course, you can go and try to do the same thing as well with callous cards, but uh, you know, they're not as expensive as the hunter cards. Just go and do the same thing with callous and try to see if you can find something there as well. And also, you can of course do it as well with shadow cards, but uh, as I said, uh, they're not as expensive as, uh, you know, the um, the hunter cards. For example, if you guys are going to be doing shadow, I'd recommend try to look for a center back, not an attacking player. For example, that guy right there, there's a reason he hasn't been picked up yet because of course, this is CAM. No one wants a CAM with a, uh, with a shadow card on, you know, so that's pretty much about that. But just keep on doing like this, and you're going to be finding so many awesome deals in the fifth and a minute, which is amazing. Either just go and do this method right here, of course, or else you can ask can just go ahead and do the uh, refresh method. Where you guys just put in 1.3k, try to see if you can find something good in the market, and sometimes there's going to be like insane rare players popping up like a thousand coins. Sometimes you can see like a striker from like the BPL that's rare popping up like a thousand coins. Sometimes you can see a player popping up for 700 coins, and so on and so forth. This is an awesome method, doesn't even work really well, and it's super easy to do as well. That Valencia card just got picked up as well for 1.8k, so yeah, that might have been a very good deal on him. But this guy's well is looking pretty good. Parker, right here. Let's have a look. Sean Parker, Hunter card. Let's have a look and see if he has any more cards up on the market because that was indeed pretty cheap to be a Bundesliga striker. Of course, not a rare card, but still looks uh, really good. So, well, let's go and have a look and see how much he is going for. I'm not too sure if I typed in the right thing <laughs> right there. So, uh, let's just go and type in Parker. Let's see what you can find. There we go. Sean Parker. Let's go Hunter card and see if he has any more cards up on the market. And as you guys can see, he only has one card on the market, which is a Hunter card as well for 1.5k. I'm gonna go and pick them on there up because that looks like a beast deal. You know, decent stats on this guy. Still record as well. And of course, striker in the Bundesliga with 79 pace and hunter card. I'll definitely take that. So that's pretty much the trading method right there, guys. Very easy to do, of course, with two variations. So we're definitely gonna check this one there out on the market. It works on literally all consoles as well. I've tried this out on the PlayStation 4, and I believe it also will indeed work on the PlayStation 3 and also the Xbox 360. Now, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll try my best to get an episode up of trading 200k later on today. So stay tuned for that as well. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all in my next one. Peace out.